about to say, look at stuff real quick. <laughs> Make sure I didn't run over some pile of stuff. It was dark when I came in here last night. I don't think I did. I mean, I knew it was there. I just making sure I didn't run over nothing. My mud flaps are still there, so that's a good sign that I didn't run over it. Right, we're good. Yeah. See, there's no trace of it. But I had this pile of dirt behind me. Just wanted to make sure I didn't hit nothing. Though. It was pitch dark. I mean, you couldn't see nothing. Yeah, see, we didn't run over nothing. The ground is kind of soft, though. All right, well, this is where we are. We're in Milford. We're in Milford, uh, Delaware. I said yesterday on my video, Connecticut. I don't know why I said that. All right, well, anyway, we're gonna go ahead. We got out, looked at our truck. Let's make sure we're all right over here. Ground is kind of soft here. Wet, very wet. I don't know, I'm pretty solid where I'm standing on. Yeah, see, you can see how far I went. I don't know if you can see that. I can see the impression on my tire right there. So I didn't go very far. Check my reefer. Yeah, see, we're three quarter. We are gonna make one pitch stop for sure. Let's get inside the truck so you can hear me. Watch out! Watch out, boys! Watch out! Move! Move, 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 move! Oh, see. But, uh, we are going to. Hold on, let me uh let me sit you guys where you can see me. But we are gonna make one pit stop today. Well come on! Come on! Well come on! Get up here! Exit 109. We gotta go right by there and I gotta scale my load there anyway. Oh I gotta change out my battery too. It's about dead. <laughs> but they have a a golden corral there. We're gonna stop. That's that's where I'm gonna eat. And then from there we'll take off hard and heavy. Yeah. Yeah. But okay, going back over there. Okay, you get going back over there. We're gonna go ahead and get ourselves around. Thank you for watching. See what we can show you today. Later. Alrighty, we are rolling. We are on, what is this? Uh, this is one. This is uh, Highway 1. We're going north. We'll take this up to 95. It's Friday. Yeah, because I need to weigh the load. So we're going to the Flying Hook, the same one that's got the Golden Corral. We're going to go up to the Flying Hook, we're going to weigh this load, and then we're going inside to get us something to eat. I'm definitely going to eat before I leave that Golden Corral, because my opinion is that's going to be the best meal that I'm going to have all day today. I mean, unless I stop in Hagerstown. Hagerstown's got a good, uh, that act truck stop. They got good fried chicken, but you know, I like their food. I just don't like the people that work there because I don't want, well, I don't know. I just, if I don't 
see a smile on, on if I don't see a smile on somebody's face when I'm doing business with them, it's just not my cup of tea. You know what I'm saying? I'll stop and eat there, but uh, you guys probably experienced that. You know, you stop in there, you get your food. I said, oh man, this smells good. Thank you so much. And you don't even get as much as a smile from their faces. So I don't know if they're just that's what type, what type of people they are or maybe that's just how people in Hagerstown look at you you know I, and, and I understand that everybody doesn't smile that's not the idea the idea is making you feel at home making you feel the service is as good as the food you know because I will go out of my way to stop if I get that kind of service. And I, I'm sure you guys would too. I mean, you pay money to have good service. And the food is, in my opinion, is only as good as, as, as the people that is serving you. I believe that. I believe that from my heart. I really do. So we're gonna stop at the Golden Corral. We're gonna get some, something to eat there. And I guarantee that that lady that takes my money, she's gonna smile at me. <laughs> well, she has before anyway. But it's definitely uh, well, it's 12:48 uh, Central Time, 1:48 uh, Eastern Time. It's 54 degrees, and it is windy. It really is too.
I guess I could have skilled my load first. But we're going to eat. 
we're gonna eat and then we'll go in and you know what we'll just park here I don't care I need exercise we'll be right back let's go inside check it out Go inside, get something to eat. Oh, Golden Corral. Got my key. Got to make sure the other door is locked. Be back, boys. Be back. Let's make sure we got this other door locked. I don't want to think my doggies can get stolen, right? It's locked. Okay. We're gonna go inside, get us something to eat. I keep saying that, right? Say, shut up, jukebox, go in and eat. What we're gonna do? This is cool, man. I get done eating, then I'll weigh my load. I put myself on a 30 minute break. I have to take another one, cause it was really <laughs> too early to take it. But we're gonna go over here. I love this truck stop because of this. A little breezy out here, but it ain't cold. Yeah, I don't mind walking. Good exercise, man. Good exercise. <coughs> Park in the back row. You might lose some weight. Might get your hat blowing off too. Anyway, let's get inside. I'll be right back. Huh. How you doing, sir? <laughs> oh, let's go eat. Let's go eat. Oh yeah. I like my veggies, man. As much as I like my meat. Let's take this to the table. Oh, meatloaf. Meatloaf. Let's grab our meatloaf. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna get out of here and eat my milk because they're playing music and I don't want to copy strike. So we'll be right back. There it is though. See? Oh yeah, and our meatloaf. We'll be right back. And to top everything off guys, that is peach cobbler with ice cream hot fudge. Oh yeah. It was 38. There you go. 39 minutes. Thirty-nine minutes. That's park, walking up, going in, eating, and by the time I come back out, thirty-nine minutes. That's astonishing. To me it is anyway. I was able to eat like that, eat good. It's very important. I mean, I, I really, the, the the smaller truck stops, I'm not uh, like, well, like Loves and Petro and even Flying J and that. 
that is actually wanting to introduce the fast food uh you know truck drivers got a a short uh, life as it is and to go inside a place and have to eat mcdonald's and subway and burger king and wendy's and all that all the time now yes we cook in the truck and i do cook in the truck i'm not saying that i have to eat all the time inside the truck or let me rephrase that that i don't always have to eat fast food but some drivers can't or i don't know if they don't want to but some drivers they don't cook in their truck and that is what our industry is trying to force down our throats now is fast food so whenever you see a decent restaurant where you can get decent food and i call uh, home cooked food that will stick to your ribs that's important and that is uh and that is stay with you longer i guarantee i won't have to eat all no, no more today uh but if i was to stop at a mcdonald's and eat a fast food hamburger it, it's out of your system in two hours and you're going to want to eat more you know and you're not really i don't well, i don't want to say you're not eating real food but it's fast food so it can't be really all that good for you but anyway that's just my thing uh, well we got the maryland scale coming up <laughs> No, we're legal though. Don't give us the bypass or make us get on the scale.
Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. <laughs> uh, we parked in Hagerstown. Oh, I don't know, maybe getting my belly full like I did or whatever, but like I said, I didn't sleep very good. Well, we didn't get our load until real late yesterday or last night or whatever. By the time I parked, we slept a few hours and dispatch called and I should just shut my phone off but but I heard it ring and I saw it was uh, our dispatcher yeah and uh, <laughs> so she was explaining my next load that was going to help me get to Louisville and once I woke up I was awake so I made me some coffee and I was good to go and I rode and then I stopped and got me a good meal yeah I, I stopped and ate and uh maybe i did get a little sleepy or whatever but i will tell you this uh we came back here we turned on the tv and what happened we fell asleep really did woke up and said hey we gotta go somewhere <laughs> come here old jake jake get over here get over here buddy buddy yeah, yeah, my little poodle dog, my little poodle, my little poodle dogger. <laughs> but anyway, hope you like the video. Hope you like following our lives. Hope you like channel. I messed up here. I'm sorry. I just woke up. I, I you know, I don't know. Does does anybody comb their hair and all that before they go on video? Jukebox probably doesn't. But hopefully, hey, <laughs> they only do that on TV and in the movies where they wake up and their hair is uh, nice and slick back and combed. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video, our lives. And uh, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, share it. If you're not subscribed, check us out, man. Subscribe, yeah. Uh... We're, we're, we're leaning toward uh, being more positive than negative. But at the same time, I'm out here to show you the real thing. You know, this is trucking. This is what we do. We we drive a truck, and uh, and this is what we do. So, you like to smile and, 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 and see nothing that is... Uh, uh, I don't know, some people would call it negative or the truth. But if you don't want to see that, let me know. Because I can go down the road just saying good morning, everybody, and smile. And just show you the road footage. Give you about 12 minutes, 15 minutes of that. Call it done, cut it, and show you the, the, the outcome. But that's what you're going to see if you don't like the truth and behind the scenes of, of a little bit of trucking, of what's going on. So if you do like it, say, hey, I like it. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned tomorrow for another video. We'll be leaving Hagerstown, Maryland and rolling. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Bye now.